Okay, let's have a look. Question 3.2 in fact for 1. Here we go. If you read it with me. X plus 2 and X squared minus 4 are the first, are respectively the first and the second term of a geometric sequence. Okay. Then they ask us to calculate the following. The value or the values okay, of X for which the series will converge. Now guys, very important. If you do not know your theory, you cannot answer maths. Maths is first of all a study subject, then a practice subject. Okay? Whoever told you maths is about practicing, okay, they forgot the most important part. You start by studying. What do you need to know in order to ask answer that question? When will a sequence converge? Just say it a little bit louder. When what is bigger than negative one? When r. Okay, what is r again? Your constant ratio. In other words, when my constant ratio is less than 1 and bigger than negative 1. Not equal to. Not equal to. Less than 1 and bigger. So, this is when it will converge. Before I can continue to answer this now, I need to go and work out R. What is the formula for R? R is T2 divided by T1. Do we have those values? Term 2 and term 1. Let's see. Yes, they said these are the two first terms. X plus 2 and X squared minus 4. So that's what I have. X squared minus 4 over X plus 2. Now, if you've done grade 11, which I suppose all of you did, you should know how to simplify this. You should recognize, oh, difference of two squares in the top. X minus 2. X plus 2 divided by X plus 2. And here we can see, oh, everything here can cancel there. Guys, please stop canceling that 2 with that. And that X with one of those X's. Incidentally, it worked out this time. Huh? <laughs> that, that is quite by accident. This is wrong. Okay. That's wrong. You have to factorize. Then you can cancel. We say cancel common factors. Not cancel common terms. So we need to factorize first. But there we go. Here's our, here's our R. So now we just put our R back. Okay. So we see R is therefore X minus 2. That is the constant ratio. And X minus 2 must be bigger than 1 but smaller than, I'm sorry, bigger than negative 1 and smaller than positive 1. And all I need to do now is get X on its own because they asked me for the values of X. How am I going to do that? Why isn't he on his own? This is a negative 2. How do I get rid or how do I what is the opposite of subtracting 2? Adding 2. So I'm just going to add a 2. Now this is called a compound inequality, which just means there's two sides. It's oh actually three sides. There's a left, right, and the middle. So if I do something in the middle, I must do it everywhere. Okay, so I'm going to add a 2 there. And I'm going to add it to there. So minus 1 plus 2 gives me positive 1. X minus 2 plus 2 gives me 0. And then 1 plus 2 gives me 3. And there, um, there we go with the values of X that will make this sequence converge. In other words, if X is any number between 1 and 3, this sequence will converge. Okay, second question. What will be the value of x if the sum to infinity <coughs> is equal to 6? 
what will be the value of x if the sum to infinity, let's start with that. Okay. Let's start with the fact that the sum to infinity is equal to 6. Now guys, we may use this. They say, if this is true, that means that is true. Assume it is true. Use it. Sometimes they ask you, if x is something, show that s to infinity is that. Then you can't use s to infinity, then that's your target. Do you understand? This time they say, if it is true, which means I may use it. So that's what I'm going to start with. s of infinity is equal to 6. Any, any advice? How, how are we going to go ahead now? Formula of what? A sum, sum, sum to infinity, what is that formula? A over 1 minus R. That is the formula for sum to infinity. Okay? Is equal to 6. Okay, do I know what A is? What is A? X plus 2. Why? Because A is the first term. So A is the first term. Here's my first term. Do I know what R is? Yes. Yes. What is R? X minus 2. I just worked it out in the previous question. R was X minus 2. So I have X plus 2 over X minus 2 is equal to 6. Ah, here we go again. Grade 11. How can you do grade 12 if you couldn't do grade 11? Okay, so if you're not doing too hot, go study your grade 11 stuff. Oh, one, sorry, one minus. One minus that. Okay, so let's just simplify that. X, obviously that's in brackets then. X plus 2. And then it's a 1 minus minus 2 is plus 2, so it's 3. And then so it's 3 minus x is equal to 6. I can't remember if anyone got this right. Okay, did you? Okay, so now we're going to multiply both sides with the denominator. So I'm going to multiply. 3 minus x on this side and multiply 3 minus x on that side. Why did I do that? Okay. To get rid of the denominator. I don't want a denominator in an equation. It's easy to get rid of a denominator in an equation because I can do anything as long as I do it on both sides. Okay. So I just cancel it on both sides. Or multiply it on both sides, so I get x plus 2 is equal to 6 times 3 is 18. 6 times negative 6 is, or negative x is negative 6. x. If I solve this now, I get 7x is equal to 16. So x is 16 over 7. You could have left your answer like that. I don't know why you guys find this difficult. Is it difficult? Sylvia? Yes. Who's saying yes? Why do you say so? Because you don't know exactly what to do sometimes when you get to the fish. Is that really how you guys feel? You don't know what to do? That's how I feel. That's how you feel. So. I, I, I just find it difficult because at this point. You have something that is true. You may use that. And you know that that portion has a different representation. It's, got, it's a formula. I can substitute that formula. When I substitute that formula, I see oh, it uses values A and R that contains X. And that's the X I'm looking for. So then I have an equation. So very often the whole idea is to find an equation to solve it. Okay. Practice, I suppose. I suppose I intuitively know what to do because I've practiced it a lot. Okay, just like I know 
how to go into third when I'm in second without thinking about it. Okay, I've done it enough times that it comes naturally.